everybody, and welcome back to another Minecraft video. This is Mythical Sausage. How is everybody doing? Oh man, we're back again doing another tutorial. This time, we're going to be doing more of an advanced style medieval house. Uh, a lot more curves. This one has some diagonals in here, and it's very, very cool. I'm going to put a link also in the description for the last uh, starter house we did. It was actually in the same seed, so if you guys want this seed as well, there it is right now. And these are the coordinates to this little flower biome, which is so cool. And I think right here, we're going to go ahead and start building right now. So let's flip. Let's start this up. And there it is. That is the dimensions we're going with. Pause the screen. There you go. Enjoy. We're going to start building this up. So these are the materials we're going with right now. We're going with um, cobble, some stone, some stone brick, some stripped spruce, spruce planks, spruce stairs, some stripped oak logs, some oak planks, some spruce trapdoor, a couple other things along the way. But let's start this up. So I'm going to be texturing the bottom end here uh, with a mixture of the cobble, stone, and stone brick. For now, though, let's do it all out of cobble and we'll start moving stuff around so what i'm thinking about doing this part right here is going to be almost like a little tower bit um this one's like a little uh, expansion to that another little expansion and then here is going to be uh, a nice little um side room but this is going to be the front door and i'm going to put it right here on this side which is going to be cool but let's start actually right here and let's count the blocks and let's do it right now so right here in this corner is a one two three four five six seven then we turn to the side one two that's gonna be a doorway three four five so technically actually let's start again this is a seven by seven box <laughs> so one two three four five six seven that's a seven we're gonna do another seven right here leave another little space here this is gonna be a doorway that's gonna be a doorway right there and then another seven so it's a seven by seven box right there just to cover that up now over here right on the second block we're gonna start counting a one two three go in one one two three four right there turn this is a one two three four five turn here one two three four we're gonna go in by one that's a one that's our front door and a two three right here so a little diagonal right there now from this side right on this end we're gonna go one two three four go in by one one two three four and then we're gonna turn it one two three four five turn it here this is a one two three we're gonna do a door that's four, five, six right there. And then this one just going to come in one, two, and three right here on that corner. And then from this edge, this is a one, two, three. Turn the corner. This is a one, two, three, four, five. And then just cap that off one, two, three right there. So that is your ways in and out. We have a way in. Here's our front door, little side room. This goes to the tower. This goes to the main room. And then this goes to the little side room right here. And that's what we got right now. Perfect. <laughs> now, this is what I'm going to do. Let's work this out. I'm going to go, let's start on this end, okay? And I'm going to just raise this up. This is already a one. So technically it's a one. It's just kind of as a one. So this is two, three, four. So let's go up by four right here, just like that. I'm going to turn the corner. Also go up, take it up by four. Take that up by four. Take that up by four. I'm going to put one and two, just like that for now. Leave that door way in right there. I'm going to turn this corner. Just also go up by four on that. Let's take all these up by four. Actually, let's take everything up by four real quick. All right, now that we have everything up by four, I'm going to start texturing. So let's do some textures now real quick. So what I'm going to do is on all the edges, I'm going to come in here and put a little bit of our stone, just like that, just to give it a border. All right, I'm going to put it here. I'm going to put one here. And you don't have to do this. You can keep it the one style if you want, or you can texture everything as a big old mess of texture. But I'm going to do it just like this, just to give it a little bit of structure. And then we're going to also start tweaking as we go along. So right all the way around, just like this, just like that, and just like that on that corner as well. Looking pretty cool. Also, let's grab this little bit right there, just to add a little bit more to that area. Actually, let's do this one as well. And I'm going to go with that right there. Now, another thing we want to do is come in here and we're going to go ahead and add a little bit of smooth stone just like this. Mix up that cobble with a smooth texture just like that. You don't have to do it like this. You can leave it one plain texture or you can do texturing as you're building along. But for now, I'm not going to put any windows. We're just going to come in here and give it a nice little bit of texture. Just randomize, it doesn't have to be exactly where I'm putting it. Just make it look like there's no pattern to it. So something like that, totally random. No windows yet, just go like that. Let's go, perfect, just like so. 
boom perfect another little bit right about there and another little bit right about there so a little more maybe one more there we go <laughs> that looks pretty good also the ones that you cannot see like stuff in here you also want to come inside and do a little bit of texture on this because you're going to see it from the inside so something like that also on this corner you're going to see it from the inside so give it a little bit of texture as well uh something like that and maybe one more in the corner all right perfect so look at that a lot better now with all that texture you can add even more as we go along but for now let's leave it plain all right and let's start working this out so next up what i want to do is i'm going to come in here and i'm going to start raising some stuff up so right here i'm going to lift this up one level right here texture as i go along and take it up one more just like that i'm going to do another one right here so let's take these up take that up and take that up so we're making little roofs now on this thing let's go up also here boom let's take that up and maybe one more just like that so keeping that looking very very cool now watch this i'm gonna come in here with some of these spruce and we're just gonna go down like this one two three we're gonna cover this up that's a five put a little upside down stair regular upside down here regular Put an upside down stair here and then come back down this direction and we're going to meet up right on this side and we're going to go all the way down till we get to here now let's go ahead and fill the rest up from here to there for now come over here let's put a little slab action so let's grab a quick spruce slab and let's go ahead and get rid of that and put the spruce slab right there now let's take it down to here take that down to here take this down to there now watch this i'm gonna come in here i'm gonna put this sideways and we're gonna connect to that we're gonna put this sideways connect to this and then also let's do it on this side as well we're gonna go down just like that just like this we're gonna put an upside down stair here we're gonna take this up connect to that we're gonna put some upside down stairs here we're gonna take that down and we're going to flip that corner just like that and then also we're going to take this one let's let me see let me put it upside down stairs really quick right there we're going to flip that one to look like this just so that uh you don't see that uh any gaps in the middle so that's your little diagonal uh something you can fix here is turn that as well so you don't see any of those pieces you can actually do it with all of these so you can keep that theme going just like that and then this side just like that so that's how you fill in that diagonal bit right here now leave this tower for now don't do that one yet but here we're going to do this now take it down and then overlaps right down to that so don't worry it's supposed to do that that's going to be fine so take that up here and we're going to come back down and do the same thing we did as far as the roof on this side and connect to that take that down take this down put a little slab action connect the slab to the end and fill this in just like this so that goes down that goes down that goes down like this actually take this little bit out for now we're going to work on that right now so that goes out to there so we have these two little bits going around perfect now for this we're going to twist it right there and for this one we're going to go like this and twist take it all the way down to the end and we're going to do the same roof pattern that we did before it's going up and down super simple roof just like that perfect then slab top right there now we're going to connect so this is going to connect to that this one is going to keep going and this one's going to connect to that perfect this is going to go down like so this is going to go down like so this is going to go down and then this will connect to that right there perfect now for this one we're going to do this again we're going to flip that and this is going to go down like so this one is also going to go down like this this one's going to go flipping and twisting just like that this is going to go around like so this one's gonna also go around take it out again and go down like so this one same thing we're gonna do an upside down take this down right there and then the slabs are gonna go down right there and these connect these connect these are lovely now for this one we're gonna have to do that little trick we did on the other side come in here real fast upside down and then twist that in twist that in and then that matches how we did on the other side perfect and then matching it right here yep that's looking good that's looking awesome okay now we have the roof in place for all these diagonals everything's looking pretty good everything's looking good here and then right here leave that open there for now i got an idea for that now let's go to this part i'm gonna go this is already a four we're gonna go up this is a five six seven eight 
nine. Take it up by nine. We're gonna go up by nine as well here. Up by nine as well right there. We're gonna take this up by nine also. And then we're gonna come back in and fill it all in. So let me do a quick little texture job. The same thing we did on the bottom. We're just gonna do it right here on the top. All right, now we have it up to, uh, to nine. Looking very, very cool. Textured on all the sides like that. Looking awesome. We're gonna add windows and everything at the end. But for now, let's work on this roof. Now for this one, I'm just gonna go with upside downs every other one, just like this. Every other one, all the way around like so. This one goes this way, all the way around like so. We're gonna put slabs in the middle, just like this. All those little middle gaps we just passed, we're gonna put slabs and then, oh, I messed that one up, that's fine. There we go, that goes all the way around like so. Then, watch this. We're gonna go ahead and come up right here with some of these strips. Spruce, go up by one, two, three. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. We're gonna go one, two, three on everything, just like that. On every other one, skip in the middle. And then in the middle part, we're just gonna come in here with the stripped oak. And we're just gonna go up one, two, and three on every single one of these. Yeah, I fell. Every single one of these, just like that. And we're gonna pop windows at the end. So that gives you a nice little tutor block all the way around, looking awesome. Then on top of these, we're just gonna go uh, one more up on every side like this. And we're gonna cross those right on the top, right here with these strip spruce, just like that. Perfect. Then I'm gonna work on a little bit of a roof right here. So let's go up one on each. One, two, three. Let's go one, ah, I fell. There we go. Something like thi this, there we go. So we got a little roof going like that. I'm gonna do the same roof on this side. So one up here, we're gonna go one, two up. So one up here, one, two up, one, two, three, right there. That'll be our roof section. So I'm coming in with this spruce now. I'm gonna go like this. I'm gonna take it all the way down from one end to the other, just like so. Take it one end to the other, just like so and then take it one end to the other. So we're just gonna go ahead and just repeat this on all sides from one end to the next. And then we're also gonna do upside down stairs underneath those, upside down stair here, slab in the middle, and then take that all the way down like that. Looking pretty cool, and then repeat. So let me do this real quick and I'll be right with you guys. We have ourselves a visitor as well. What's up, wandering trader, man? I got, I got nothing to buy right now. I'm doing a tutorial right now. How rude. Uh, so, really quick, this looking, it's looking really, really cool. I'm in love with what's happening right now. Really, really fun build. So, now, next up, let's add a little bit of detail to the front. So, I put a little uh, wall right here, right where this guy showed up. Uh, so, right here, center line to this. So, from this line, let's say this, let's pretend this is a um, the, the baseline. So, this is zero. This is a one two, three, four, on the fifth, I'm gonna put a wall down right here. I'm gonna take it up by one, two, three, just like that, and then come with me. We're gonna drag this line right down like this. One, two, three, four, and five. We're gonna go one, two, three, four, and five. We're gonna take this now up by one. So right here, one, two, three, four, and five, and take this up from here, one, two, three, and four. So that connects to that, and that gives you this little overhang bit, and then for this little bit, I'm just gonna cover that up, so we don't really need to show that, and we have that little overhang. Look how cool that is. Come on now, that's super awesome. Uh, we're also gonna play around a little bit with this little terrain uh, right here, but for now, leave it just like that. Now, let's add some windows. So I'm gonna put a window here, one, two, right here. We're gonna put glass, one and two, right there drop a little bit of trapdoor action on one side that's looking great no windows on this i am planning maybe to do a little flower box action but for now leave it just like that right here knock this down one two and three a big three right there take that up that's perfect we're gonna put a little trapdoor action here here and there as well so we got that big window right here now on this one leave that alone on this one leave that alone i'm gonna show you why now, on this, we're gonna put a lovely a double window. We're gonna put one right here, one, two, and three, one, two, and three. On this one as well, we're gonna put one, two, and three, one, two, and three right there, and then drop these glass right there, looking really, really cool. So one here and one there. We're gonna put trap doors as well, one here, here, and there, one there, there, and there. On that side, get rid of that. <laughs> we're gonna go again, one, two, three on this side, and one, two, three on this side, looking Pretty cool. Now, I'm gonna put a little bit of an overhang over this, so this is gonna be easy. I'm just gonna go right here. One, two, three, one, two, three. Just like that, little overhang bit. 
I'm gonna do it again. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, well, technically five. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. A little overhang bit just to add a little bit of detail. That looks awesome. Then let's grab some upside down stairs. I'm gonna put some right here, here, and there. And then I'm gonna put some slabs here and here just to give it even more of a little ledge to that. That looks awesome. So one, two, three, and one, two, right there. So that gives you that cool little look. I love that so much. And here, we're gonna drop some windows. So in this side, let's go here. I'm gonna put a window. Let's put one right here. We're gonna put one right here. We're gonna also put one, guess what, right here. Perfect, let's do one, two, three. On this one, just one. On this one, one, two, and three. On this one, just one. So for this, let's put the glass down. Let's put a little trap door. I'm gonna put one right on that side. So over here, we're gonna go glass, glass, glass. For these, I'm gonna make it a little different. We're gonna put some slabs right here, here, and there, just like that. We're gonna put also another one right here, glass. Let's put a trap door right about there. And on this one, glass, glass, glass. And we're gonna put our slab, slab, slab right on top of that. And again, one more on that side, we already did it. <laughs> that's awesome. So that's looking pretty cool. I love that. Why don't you try to get out of here? We're also gonna come in here and do a little bit of texturing. So all these that are stripped, you see right here, we're gonna come in here and add just a little bit of um, the plank, the oak plank, just to change it up a little bit to give it a little bit of texture. Not only the bottom gets texture, the top does as well. So something like this, just one on every other one maybe like so and like so looking pretty cool that's looking awesome now we could do another little bit of a detail you know what i would love to do right now i want to add a fireplace on one of these so let's grab some of the brick then we got these brick stairs and the brick wall we also have some camp fires we're going to be adding so this definitely needs a little bit of a fireplace you know where i want to add it right here uh-huh right here on this side so let's go up let's go up one two three four five six take that out seven eight nine ten and i think ten is just perfect actually let's go let's go nine and then the campfire will be the tenth let's grab some of the trap door we're just gonna go around like so covering that up and we got a little fireplace right there looking very cool now let's take this little bit out let's go up one and two let's go up one two and three Let's put a stair facing that way. Let's put a stair right in here, just like that. And then in the bottom, let's get a little bit of the granite. And we're gonna do a little bit of granite action. Let's get the polished and the regular. Let's go something like this, just to give it a little bit of texture. We're texturing everything, that's right. Uh, let's go something like so. And then a stair of our granite. Where are you, granite stair? There we go, let's replace that and maybe a granite stair right there. And that's looking very, very cool. So we have this looking awesome. Let's put maybe an upside down stair somewhere there. Maybe a little stair facing down just to break it up even more. And that's looking so cool. So we have our fireplace right there looking super awesome. So now, next up, let's do a little bit of terraforming here. So for this one, I'm just gonna come in here with the, uh, just a cobble. And we're just gonna go straight down, all the way down and around like so something like this texture a little bit like so with that bad boy then i'm gonna go ahead and grab some stairs and i'm gonna go with some cobble stairs and but also some smooth stairs as well there we go and let's do this i'm gonna go down right here bam 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 there we go and that's looking so sweet so you can definitely come up right here and your head is safe everything is perfect you can come back down and you are good now let's grab a little bit of trap door and i'm gonna do a trap door here and here i'm gonna also do a trap door here grab that down and that gives you a nice little railing so you can be safe and it looking very very awesome so you're coming in boom let's replace that one though with a stair and we have our way in right there looking awesome excuse me sir thank you uh, and that's looking super cool. Now, little bits of detail that we can start adding is we could mess with the roofing a little bit. If you like it clean, you like it just like this, leave it alone. Don't touch it, your build is done. But if you wanna add a little bit more detail to this, come in here with me. So we can break some of this up just like so. 
let's break some of this up right here break some of this up add a little bit more detail and this just adds to it make it a little more rustic a little more rundown and i love doing this to my build so let's do a little bit right here there we go maybe some also right on this edge there we go maybe some right in here as well so i'm just gonna play around add a little bit of the ruin look and see what we can come up with just to make it a little more unique so give me one moment all right there you go so we have a little more rundown so here you go a little bit of stairs slabs broken a little bit of trap door on the top and there you go just a little example of what you could do to break it up again you don't have to put it like this you can make it look just very clean and very very normal oh, alexi oh actually i want to break this up even more let's do uh let's do a little bit of a full block right there yeah <laughs> i love breaking this up so we can just keep going keep adding keep taking away and it just gives you just a little bit more of a unique flair to your house wherever you want to put stuff like this it's super cool like that yeah i can keep going but well, there you go you got the idea also did a little bit up top as well so it looks very very cool there you go now let's do something that i normally don't do uh let's do a little bit of just terraforming making this a little more detailed on the outside so uh what i like doing is to come in here wherever there's uh, you know that you're gonna go with a path right this is a path so i'm thinking we can go this way and this kind of curves around this way and goes off to this side we can even make like a little dock area right here or a little boat uh and then maybe a little walking area around here so things that i want to do is for now uh let's go over here and grab uh i'm just gonna do a course dirt i'm not gonna use the path block this time Course dirt for your main path. So let's see, I want to go around and maybe this goes like something like so. So this kind of curves around and it's looking pretty good. So something like this. Let's say this goes off into this distance here. This is just going to curve and we're going to curve around to this and it kind of leads off to the side over here like that. So now let's grab a little bit of the mossy cobble. I love the mossy cobble. Just a little bit around here, just a little dotting around of the mossy. Uh, and then we can just maybe put some up against the house right there. Uh, also, let's keep on with some coarse dirt around here as well. Let's pretend that we, we have a path that kind of just kind of beat it up it's kind of all ruined <laughs> and this whole area is going to be very um like it's going to be tall grass it's going to be bushes and we're going to add a little rocks and stuff so right here let's just mess it up a little bit right about there keep on at least a little bit around the house just to give it that cool little feel like this place is actually lived in so let's just come around here and just randomly <laughs> pick away some blocks and then let's just place some more right down here so a little path going around the house you walk it around doing your thing we can even add a little bit of outside storage if you like on the outside and just a little bit of detail like this so perfect so something like that let's add a little bit more mossy and actually we can bring in some mossy also into the house if you like just a little bit around like so it doesn't hurt always gives it a little bit of a nice feel to it just something like this add a little bit more moss around here a little overgrown. Oh, that one is that. There we go. A little overgrown. A little bit of moss on the outside, and then maybe some just dotted around close to the water line right here would look pretty cool. And that's awesome. And there it is. Something like that. Excuse me. You're in the. This guy's in the way. He don't even care. Uh, and then I want to come in here and add a little bit of gravel as well. So just come around here. Let's follow the path wherever you have this path. Just dot a little bit around that path, just to give it even more detail to the actual path that we're going all the way around. And it's looking pretty cool. You can even add path block if you like. I'm not going to do it on this one, but you could add it. That's also uh, up to you guys. And it's looking pretty cool. Something like that. Looking awesome. And also, another thing you can add is just regular old cobblestone. Add a little bit of cobble, a little bit of rocks on the ground. Looking pretty good. Something like this. And it's looking awesome. That's it. Just a little bit. Just a little bit like that. Boom. A little bit like that. Perfect. <laughs> so that's looking really awesome. Other little things you could do is add flower boxes. I love flower boxes. I'm going to go with three right here. Let's grab our trap door. I'm just going to go around like so and cover that up. Ooh, what happened here? That was probably uh, a gravel. Then let's grab some flowers. Any random uh, trio will do. Something like that. Let's grab let's grab some new ones. So let's do the lily. Let's do the corn. And then let's bring a little poppy in here. Why not? Red, white, and blue. No. Let's go with uh let's go with a little orange. Why not? So orange, blue, white, whatever. However you like it. 
Now, flower box is right there. Also, on this outside part, we can even add like a little bit of a garden too if you want. Uh, little things that I usually do, maybe do a little circle here with a garden. Uh, and you know, you can do anything. Uh, we can add a little bit of bush also on the outside. So let's just grab a little bit of oak. I'm just gonna drape this down right across the edge right there just to add a little detail. Uh, on this one, we could do another little bit of a flower uh, box action as well. So let's go with uh, right about here. I'm gonna do a one and two. And here, let's do a one and two right there. Just to look a, it's like a, look a little different. Cover that up, go around like so. What are you doing there? Get that out. <laughs> so one and two, and one and two. And again, it's a flower biome. You can just pick any flowers around this area and just go crazy, have fun. Something like that. And then, if anything, these two right there. Perfect. So a couple little flower boxes right there look pretty cool. Uh, if you want, we could do, let's do a little a bit of a farm here. Tiny farm. And then, let's actually take that down. And then, I'm going to do it right here. Let's have a way in right on this edge. Uh, let's just put two slabs right here to get around and let's just do a little wall this one I'm not gonna do kind of like organic how we did it. Let's make a really plain square one So one two one two one two one two one two so a five long let's turn it right here and let's take it one two three four five six and seven coming down right here close that off and then that, lo that looks pretty cool Let's just take this now. I'm gonna go up every other one actually take it out one more just so we can, uh, you know my, my life will be complete uh and let's just take it up right in here let's replace all of these now with some grass and then let's take it out just like so and take this one out just like this take that one probably down right here and let's go one two three right there then let's actually do a little bit of texture let's come down here replace some of these uh, we could even do some mossy on that one if you saw that. We could put a little bit of mouse right there. Um, maybe replace some of these here. Let's go. And then let's keep these into the mossy family. Just like that. Then I'm going to grab some uh, fences. Let's grab a... I'm going to go with spruce. And we're just going to go ahead and go in every little gap. Just like that with the spruce fence. And I think that looks very, very cool. On top of these, we can go ahead and put a little bit of a slab. And I'm going to mix in, I already had it there, actually, that and this. We're just going to go around. Uh, actually, you know what? Let's do slabs of our polish and site. Let's do that. Yeah, let's use that on all of them. I haven't used that yet. Boom. Perfect. And that gives you a little bit of, uh, and you can use this for anything. You can use this for gardening. You can use it as a seating area, a little smoker for a barbecue. For now, let's just use this as a, uh, a little garden. Let's go, let's grab some of a farmland. So let's go with farms here. Let's go with seeds. Let's bring in some carrots as well. And oh, that's it. Just, just, just those. Uh, and then let's get a water source. And I'm going to go ahead and put a water source. I'm going to hide it. Uh, let's actually hide it in there. That might be pretty good. And then we're just going to go here and change some of these up. Not all of them. We can leave like a little patchwork of it. Uh, something like that. Let's go in right here. A couple inside. Boom, boom, boom. And, oh, this doesn't go all the way out to here. That's fine then. Uh, let's go with some carrots. Carrot, 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 carrot. Uh, and then here we can come in with some more of the bush that we used right here in this corner and just to add a little bit more detail. So let's go with uh, a couple of bush right here, maybe. Uh, let's add a little bit of bush over here as well. And that looks awesome. Let's do, actually this one, I'm gonna bring in the path just so we can change it up from what we've been seeing. So a little bit of path here, 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 here. So it's kind of like a little walk away right here, a little walking area, boom, perfect. Uh, and then actually let's change that one up as well. Let's do another, let's do a carrot here. Let's do one of those. That looks pretty good. We can even add a little bit of gravel if you like. Maybe a little one right there, one right there. And let's just bow meal it up so you can see what it looks like. All grown up. All right, there you go. So that, that looks so good. So little things we can add right now in here will be maybe a little lantern in the corner so nothing spawns there. We can even bring a little bit of a of a barrel action right there maybe. Throw maybe another lantern on top of that. Uh, make this into like a more treaded path maybe like that. It looks better. Uh, a little more maybe like this. so. Maybe, I don't know, just a little bit. There we go, that <laughs> looks awesome. Maybe even add a little more bush on the outside here, just a little bit. Uh, maybe even a, a flower or so. <laughs> maybe a little bit of flower action. There we go, that just adds so much. So you got that little area taken care of. Looking very cool. This guy's still hanging out over here. 
So I'm gonna do a little bit of a docking area, nothing too crazy, very simple. I'm just gonna get rid of this little beach, just because I don't like it. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of that. Add a little bit of a path that kind of, that you can tell kind of people just went straight over here like that. And then right here, gonna do a little bit of a dock area. So let's grab, uh, let's see, I'm gonna go with the uh, the regular old uh, oak. I'm gonna go with oak this time. And then I'm gonna go with spruce as well. So let's go with a little bit of spruce right here and a little bit of fence and then super simple right here i'm going to take this down one two and three right here we're going to give it a space of one two three four five six a little bit of something like that i'm going to get this out right here on this edge we're going to take this actually well we're going to go one lower right at this edge take it down to the water line and go all the way down just a little bit just a one two let's actually take this little bit out too Let's go down here, so three right here, and I'm gonna take this down right here and take it all the way up, just like so. Take this one all the way down and up like so, and then put it in one more, so that's a four, perfect. Then I'm gonna put a little bit of fence, a little bit of fence, just like that, and we got ourselves a nice little fishing dock. So I'm gonna also grab a little bit of the trap door, put those at the edge, just like that, and then also some of these, I'm gonna replace them with some of the trap door, just to make it look a little more run down just like this perfect then i'm gonna add a couple little bits of barrel action right here on the corner maybe one right about a couple right there maybe one here maybe even add some chests as well uh let's see let's put one right on that end and maybe one right on top of that one a little bit of dock action and you know what's pretty cool this could be this guy's house the wandering trader house there you go <laughs> so awesome so there you go something like that very very simple we're gonna need a little bit of light here though let's put maybe one here one here nothing too crazy just a little bit on the side that's looking awesome then we could do a little bit of terraforming also on the outside and give it almost like a little bit of a seawall. And I love doing this. So let me show you how I do it. So let's grab um, some stone. And let's do, we got the mossy, we got the cobble. Let's do that. Oh, we already have that there. Let's do, put that here. Let's take some of the mossy, the regular, the slab. There we go. Some stair. Let's go with a little bit more mossy. Let's go with that in that and we can even bring a little bit of stone around here okay now for this little seawall it's gonna go from here to here just to give it a little bit of a detail and I gotta push this guy I gotta push you a little bit so let's just do cobble for now I'm just gonna run the line like this excuse me thank you excuse me and again this is just for my area here you don't have to do this uh you might not have this available in wherever you're at uh in your world but you know you can use this as inspiration and then if anything bring it back later whenever you need it so i'm just gonna go around like so just take it down the c line until we get to about right about here right about there so we're giving us a little wall right here let's take this one now up with a couple slabs here and there just so just randomized like so then i'm going to replace some of these now with the mossy let's see maybe something like that and then anything down below i might be coming in with some more moss right here a little bit a little bit of mossy just like that and let's just do a little more like this and it's just eyeballing it see what looks good uh, and then go from there. So something like so and I'm pretty much gonna stop like right there uh, And then down below we can also mess around with putting some stairs in certain spots Maybe something like that. Of course you waterlog those but I'll do it after uh, Something like so something like that uh, We can even come in and break some of these up in certain spots. Maybe something like that something like so just in random spots we can even twist some of these up something like this will be okay something like that on the inside maybe a couple little slabs here uh maybe put a line here of uh of some of that there we go uh maybe right here we could put a stair and maybe over here just a little bit of slab action we can also come in here and give it some smooth stonage so something like that nothing too crazy even some slabs of our smooth stone something like this so maybe one here maybe taking that down a little now nah, let's do let's do that double uh something like this and like that there you go 
that does so much. We got a little bit of a seawall going around like that, and this, this adds to it just to give you a little bit more flair to it. Now, little things you could do is also add lights. So we can grab a wall. I already have it on me. Uh, some of these could be with walls. So you could put those lights on, maybe shave this off a little bit, uh, and then maybe put another little wall right there with a light. Perfect. Uh, and then if you're going to come out this way, maybe do a little bit of an elevation change like so. And you can bring in the, uh, you know what, we could do what we had here going up, these slabs of spruce. And then just a little way up, just like that. Let's push it back a little bit. Right there. Perfect. And if anything, you can also have like another little extra dock bit right here if you want like an extra way around. Uh, this could be just like a fishing hole or something and just take it down. Let's take that down right about there. Take it out one more. There you go. And then this goes out like that. Looking pretty cool. That's awesome. Uh, we can even take it out one here and one more here just to add that bit. And then what we did over here just to give it that little bit of extra. You can go right here with a little line so no, you don't fall over or whatever. And take that down to there. That looks good. Trapdoor also. Trap door also right on top of that and that. Uh, and yeah, I think you are looking pretty good. Something, actually, you know, I kind of like the way that was like, there we go. That's pretty cool. Uh, maybe just a little bit of more mouse right there. And we can add and take away, and, you know, let's go crazy. But something like this. <laughs> what do you think? Is this looking all right? That's looking all right. Uh, come back in here. Let's go ahead and detail a little more. We can add another little bit of a bush corner here. Uh, on this one, uh, I think that's fine. We don't have to go too crazy with the bush. Uh, maybe a little more if you want, right here on this edge, just to give you a little trickle down on that. And I don't like this little beach side, so I'm just gonna go ahead and get rid of that and go something like this. Maybe add a little bit more right about here. Now, something that never fails is coming in with a little bit of bone meal and just spreading the love of the bone meal around not too much just a little bit around here right about there just a little bit of bone meal never hurt anybody right here let's go like that a little bit of grass a little bit of grass right there and a little bit of grass maybe right about yeah take that flower out of there there we go maybe a little grass there you go little grass no little grass little grass little grass little grass there you go that's looking awesome man what do you guys think is this pretty cool now really fast as well let me show you what we could do as far as interior for this house and we're all done let's take a quick little peek inside i did a, some pretty cool interior let me show you so coming in boom oh before that we got this cool little potted plant action <laughs> a barrel with a little light right there coming in a little bit of extra storage we have a seating area with a little library here and these are the looms flipped sideways looks like an empty bookshelf so cool some hanging lights in certain spots we made these little cool archway entrances to go in from one section to the next big old spiral staircase right here on the end uh i know it takes a lot of space out of this thing uh but i kind of like the way it looks even though we could have uh used more of a of a spacious area maybe with just a ladder to get up to the top i don't know i kind of like the way it looks uh you can even separate it this uh separate this section this tower i think it's even like three stories if you really really wanted to but i just like the way that looks uh, also a little bit of a vaulted ceiling on the top some paintings some bush on the side potted plants uh i love the carpet just randomly scattered blue light blue carpet uh here's our kitchen area or our dining room here with a painting another little archway entrance right here i love the open feel and then this whole area is a kitchen right here looking so cool it's a little hanging meat racks right there Ca uh, cauldron right there uh, we got some plates in this corner cakes we got some food sitting on item frames our campfire ready to go looking awesome i love that uh and uh brewing stand i love the ceiling oh the details on the ceiling looks really really good now for this spiral staircase it's gonna take us to the top where the bedroom is at and i love this top part and you know what's really cool right there look at that uh so coming up here to the top a little bit of a railing around here pretty safe storage everywhere little hanging light there as well double bed in this corner with nice little carpet and views from all over the place look at that all around <laughs> but it's so awesome you can add even more if you wanted to with extra storage up here more paintings more details but pretty spacious you could add definitely a lot and this just takes advantage of the new feature if this was old 113 or below you couldn't get down here but if you just 
crouch. You can get underneath that. And it's located, it's so cool, I love it. And a quick little escape, get out, and we're done. <laughs> so, what do you think of our advanced starter house? This is a little bit bigger than the other ones we're used to. A little more complex because of the diagonals, we're detailed it, a whole mess, but I love it. We got a little uh, section here for crops, we have a little docking area, a little seaside area, and it's really, really cool. I don't know, I love it. <laughs> I think it came out pretty cool. Let me know down below if you wanna see maybe another level on this. Maybe you wanna see an ultra advanced level three version of one of these houses. I don't know, let me know down below. Let me know if you wanna try any other styles, any other build types. Let me know what you wanna see next in another build tutorial. But this has been so much fun. Thank you again so much for watching. I'll catch you guys on the next episode. Goodbye.